Violent crime is often a hot topic in Chicago. Electronic monitoring has become a big part of the conversation. But how much do you really know about how this program works in Cook County? Elizabeth Matthews breaks it down for us in tonight's special report. In 2021 alone, for example, well over 50 people have been arrested for shooting or murder all while on electronic monitoring. They have pointed the finger at us. We know that finger pointing doesn't work. I don't think there's another city in this country releasing people charged with murder back into the community on electronic monitoring. There are a lot of strong opinions about how well electronic monitoring is working in Cook County, but do you know how it works at all? It's the fact that there's two separate home monitoring programs, the one that we run, which has about 2,500 people on it, then one that the chief judge runs that has, we think, about 1,000 to 1,500 people. There are still some folks who work in the system who are kind of surprised that we have two programs. Jordan Bolger is an administrative analyst for Cook County's Adult Probation Department, which oversees the lesser known electronic monitoring program that's part of Chief Judge Timothy Evans's office. So we're a completely separate department. The courts um, are separate from law enforcement. So our program is, is separate. We have a separate population that we're monitoring. Bolger says the biggest difference between the defendants in each program is their perceived level of risk. The Sheriff's EM program is designated for higher risk defendants. Um, so the, the highest risk defendants are recommended for what we call maximum conditions or detention. The lowest risk are um, recommended to just be released without condition. Bolger says most of the 1,600 plus defendants in the chief judges program are monitored for curfew violations from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. with the use of a radio frequency bracelet. The sheriff department's program uses GPS to monitor all 2,300 defendants in its program 24-7. While the chief judge's monitoring program historically has less offenders on it than the sheriff departments and for lesser offenses, that seems to be changing due to 2017 bond reform measures and the local increase in violent crime. It's being used more for uh, younger weapons possession offenders. Um, so people who are maybe 18 to 30 years old um, who are charged with unlawful use of a weapon. It's also being used for those charged with attempted murder. Regardless of that, both programs say about 80% of their populations do not commit another crime while out on electronic monitoring. Hi, I'm calling from the monitoring center. While the programs operate separately, they do use the same vendor for monitoring services. That's required for Cook County's procurement policy. Even with that shared resource, Bolger says the two programs still don't talk to each other that much, if at all. So who decides who's enrolled in which monitoring program? Judges pick who goes on home monitoring. Some have it, they, they pick them and then they hand them off to the sheriff to monitor them. But then there's many other ones where the, the judges pick them and then they themselves also monitor them you know, in-house with their um, pre-trial service people. Kind of monitoring center I have. One reason you might not know much about Chief Judge's program is because the Adult Probation Department just began posting detailed information about it on its website a few months ago. We determined that instead of kind of perpetuating the narrative that we're hiding something or that we're a black hole and nobody knows what we're doing, um, I think the, the environment had changed so that uh, it, it became more palatable or, or uh, there was more desire to make this information public and to show that we're not hiding anything. Bolger adds most jurisdictions in the U.S. typically only have one electronic monitoring program, and it's usually run by the chief judge's office. He also says that Cook County is discussing the possibility of combining the two programs into one. Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.